And here I'm shutting down my simulation, killing off the jobs. And I'm going to disconnect and shut down this window and restart SQL Plus just to make sure I'm actually instantiating the TNS connection change, which should actually instantiate even when I'm reconnecting. But we'll make doubly sure. And now I'm going to run my simulation again and create all my jobs. And as you can see, all the jobs are created. Now let's go back and examine shared service again. And now I can see that not everything is idle. 30 requests for each shared server. This implies that what I did was I set up my job, my simulate job, running with 25 jobs. So 30 requests per shared server, there's 25 requests per second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a much larger amount and I'm actually going to go and create another 250 jobs in my simulation. I now have an awfully large number of jobs running in my simulation. It's more or less 275 executions of the same chunk of code based on random variations within those stored procedures doing lots of DML activity, select activity, etc, etc on a group of tables. It's essentially building a database structure. It's building rows into a database, but it is doing updates, deletes, inserts, selects. It's doing everything. So now what I'm going to do again is I'm going to go back to my script and let's look at shared servers again and see if this has changed. And it still seems that I'm only using a single shared server. However, I've only got 50 requests. So what I'll do now is let's go and check this particular goodie. And it actually gives me a value in here now. Now let's go and look at shared server monitor. And as you can see, it's only used a single circuit and essentially a single shared server. So let's go and have a look at the dispatcher before I make comments. And it's using the single dispatcher. Busy over idle, not very busy, as you can see. That's a very small percentage. It's way, way less than 1%. Let's go and look at dispatcher queue values. Again, that's extremely small value. And let's go and look at the status of circuits. Normal, no queue, no breaks, no problems. If anything, I would say that even with two shared server processes, a single dispatcher and 10 circuits, I would say that my shared server configuration for concurrently running 275 jobs at once is very much over configured. So in this environment, I would not want to use a shared server configuration. I would prefer to have a dedicated server configuration. Let's see how far I can push my simulation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add, say, another two and a half thousand jobs. This will probably blow the mind of my server and it probably won't respond at all. But we'll try just to see what happens. So I'm going to create a huge number of jobs for this particular database server. Let's clear this out of here and I'll execute this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the jobs I have actively running. And I have rather a lot. It should count well over 2,000 rows. Then we've got 2775. Although many of these jobs do not have previous and current values in, it means they haven't been executed once, which doesn't actually look good. So let's run this again. And as you can see, there isn't much in there. I think the chances are my database server has been overstressed. Let's go and look at the shared server views once again. And I'm just going to run them all at once. I'm going to clear the window, paste it in. Let's go back up to here. And the first thing we look at is the second shared server process is basically idle. This number is a little bit higher. There's nothing going on in here. The dispatcher is mostly busy over idle, which is extremely small, still mostly idle. Essentially, my database server cannot handle that much processing. So I can't really tune this environment with these performance views because 
my environment is not really powerful enough to actually show any significant difference. But that's the easiest way to tune a shared server environment, is using these views and pictures from these views and comparing things with each other. As you can see, there's nothing really much wrong with my database and there's nothing much that I can tune. I would be much better off with a dedicated server environment on this particular machine.